Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're going to do some uh, bizarre soldering. We're going to attempt to solder aluminium. Now, anyone that knows much about aluminium, uh, it's a material that it definitely doesn't like soldering. It's not too keen on welding. It's horrid, but there is ways around it. And like most soldering, uh, some people say they find it difficult. Uh, normally you'll find it difficult because you're using cheap solder. Uh, always buy a decent solder. All right. I have two bits of aluminium. I don't know how well I'm going to do this one. But this is uh, a capacitor, or the remains of a capacitor. I've ripped the insides out because uh, obviously soldering it would probably heat it up and it would get bang and I didn't want that so I took the insides out but as most of you know these are aluminium the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, scuff it up because it looks like it's got a some type of clear coating on it yeah just see the aluminium coming in there Now I'm not going to be using normal solder, obviously. I will do eventually, yeah, it's like a plastic coating on that. This could be more fun like that. Oh. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I don't know, just see if I can pick an area. Need something to plonk that on, that's a bit of heat proof. Oh, that will do. Maybe it won't. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <coughs> Excuse me. That applies. Just want to get it off my desk so when I do start heating it up, it doesn't go bad. Right, the solder I'm going to be using, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. It's actually four. Uh, soldering, not electrical soldering I'm afraid, it's uh, for soldering aluminium, nickel, uh, stainless steel as well. Uh, I actually normally use it for nickel, uh, there's a lot of heater cables which are nickel coated and they don't solder very well but if you actually tin them first with this, wipe off the solder and then use normal solder, uh, it normally works. I don't know how well this is going to work. I'm using a hotter iron here because aluminium's renowned for ripping the heat out of your irons. And, oh, let's get that. Yeah, come on. Still a bit tarnished, but it has got it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wick that off. Right. Ah, it's hot. Okay, I think it's still a plastic coating on this. I'll try on here. The biggest problem with aluminium is you've got to get the uh, actual area you're doing at the same temperature. Which obviously is difficult. See, that's, that sword has actually just gone solid there, where it's uh, this piece of aluminium's just ripped the heat straight out of my iron. Pig. Okay, let's go back to this one. It's not taking too well at all. coat these capacitors. Some type of plastic. All right, okay. Yeah, that 
that's actually better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now, what's that? If I'm actually doing an electrical connection, once I've tinned the area, I normally use normal solder. So this is a. So we can put this on top. Right, that's just normal solder now on top of that. go this the problem is this it will go eventually if I can get the uh, plate to the right if I can get the plate hot enough come on it's just ripping the temperature straight out Okay, uh, last my problem is I cannot get enough heat. Nope. And I'm out of gas. Why is it always happen when you're trying to do a video? Of the way. Right, this. I don't know. Persevere a second. Pair of cutters. Right, okay, I'll do that. That may help. I'll pick up the aluminium solder. You can see I'm not organised to this. Come on. See, it's nicely tinned. Once I've tinned it with that. up any access and we can go with standard solder like so and I hear you say what's the use of that well quite a lot of shielding is made out of aluminium so you could then bond the shield to your earth. Uh, uh, lots of things are made out of aluminium. Small things that can break. And well, you could, uh, with this solder, you could actually repair them. As you see, that was quite tough. The wire's still there. It actually snapped after the solder joint. Didn't pull it out. And again there, you can still see the wire still attached. So you can see how strong that bond is. I'll put a link for the solder uh, in the comments. It's some useful solder I have. Uh, I must admit, not, I haven't done too much with the aluminium. But when it comes to nickel wires, for like heaters and things like that, if you first tin, with that solder and then use normal solder it makes a far better joint okay many thanks for watching hope that was educated